Most tuk-tuks don't sound like this, but Matt has souped his up for a world record attempt, and it all started with a late night purchase on eBay. We'd been to Bangkok previously, I'd looked at tuk-tuks, I was looking at one on eBay, um, I'd had a couple of drinks, my wife went to bed and I've been looking at a tuk-tuk for a while and uh, I just thought, well, heck, I'm going to go for it. The next morning you say to your wife, uh, I think I bought a tuk-tuk. Yeah, really, that's how it went. The serious business of speed needs an adjudicator. Step forward our man from Guinness World Records. Yesterday he was at the world's biggest fish cake in Norway. And you'll be carrying a passenger, right? Um, yep, yeah, Russell. Today he's at an airfield near York to make okay, sure the tuk-tuk Matt paid £3,000 for and spent £25,000 modifying is still enough of a tuk-tuk. Some people say, oh, you get some mad, crazy people doing things, but I don't think so. I think everybody's an individual who wants to do things differently. Thankfully, Matt's passenger is his cousin, not a fair-paying stranger, and with the two of them suited and booted, the moment was here. In previous years, this airstrip has given us the world's fastest shed, toilet and shopping trolley, so the bar was already high. The tuk-tuk speed to beat was 68 miles an hour. Matt managed 74. We've beaten the record, yeah. yeah. We came, we saw, we conquered. What yeah. do you think now? Oh, uh, yeah, I'd like to go and have a beer, really. <laughs> you are officially amazing. Well done. Matt's next endeavour, well, that all depends on his future impulse purchases. Peter Lane, Five News.